You're there. You're there. Hi. Hi, everybody. Um, happy, happy Wednesday. Um, it's block of the weekday. It is block. Yeah, block of the weekday. I thought I'd said that wrong then. I thought I was saying block of the day week. No, it's block of the week day. <laughs> um, so uh, we're going to obviously be doing a block later on. A um, couple of little things I wanted to tell you about. There's still a couple left on the raffle. I think there's about 10 left on this week's raffle. Um, it will be the last. It will be the last raffle on a card before Christmas because we'll have our advent running from Monday. Um, so we won't do a raffle as well as the advent. So if you want to have a have a little go at that, you might want to grab a ticket quick to get that one done. Um, and then on Monday, um, our big um, white gecko advent starts. Um, we um, Sarah told you about it yesterday, but we <laughs> we had so many tech tech issues yesterday. This whole new setup. It's uh, we're getting there. We're, Drew's working hard and we're, we're, we're getting there. It, it will work eventually. Um, but um, the advent, like Sarah sent you yesterday, starts on Monday. Um, and we've done it for the last five years, actually. This Well, this will be the fifth year that we've done it. Um, and there's 24 prizes. We draw a prize every day. You can enter as many times as you want. Um, every every time you can either enter if you come into the shop or you can enter if um, you online, either or and um that one will start on monday that'll be go live on the website on monday and we'll start selling tickets as well in the shop on monday and there's 24 prizes we draw a prize every day for that one um all the way through december and the reps have been very very generous and as I has have we <laughs> and there's lots of amazing prizes for that one which uh yeah so you you could you could enter once or you could enter 10 times on that one it's entirely up to you and your your tickets stay in there so even if you win like say on the 4th of December, your name gets your name gets pulled out. You could win again on the 18th of December or something, you know. So it depends on how many tickets you've got in the in the in the bowl. Um, so that's yeah. So raffle will be hopefully we'll finish that this week. Um, and then advert starts on Monday. Um, we've had quite a few um, people order the fat quarter advent calendar as well. Um, I know it's a lot of advents and stuff going on, isn't it? Um, but that one is still available as well. You need to order that by the 20th of November if you want to uh, go for that. Um, I don't know about you guys, but it's a beautiful, beautiful day here. Sun is out, sky is blue. It's a little nippy, a little bit of a chill in the air, but it is nice out there. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, I've got proper blue sky and sunshine, which is actually making me realise how disgusting my uh, front room windows are. They're not good. I'm going to have to get one of the boys on one of those later. They need to go outside and wash them for me. <laughs> I hate that. In the, the winter sun, it seems to uh, magnify the, the windows, doesn't it? <laughs> so who's there today, Drew? Who's coming we've online? We've got Wendy. We've got Anne. Hi, Sandra, Wendy. Hi, Anne. Hi, Sandra. Nikki, Natalie. Hi, Aileen. Nikki, Natalie. Eileen. Eileen, hi. Hi, everybody. Um, we, we've had a couple of messages. I know Carrie was one and uh, another lady, Zinia, was another, saying that you can't comment on these lives anymore and you used to be able to. Um, I know Facebook changed their, like, their look a couple of weeks ago. Um, you might find that if you, um, you, if you haven't liked our page and you just follow it, that might be one of the reasons why. So you need to make sure you've definitely done the thumbs up like on our page. Um, and the other thing is just just recheck that you're re take it off your iPad and reinstall it. Apparently that's been helping. I had a little Google because a lot of people are having these issues. Apparently it's the new look Facebook. So that that might be uh, might be the reason why. But yeah, unfortunately, when we're, we're not um, Facebook tech support, so um, I don't that that's the only thing I can help with, I'm afraid, is try uh, making sure you um, on the, the Google comments that I read very quickly, you have to make sure you like the page, actually click the, the thumbs up. And um, the other thing people are saying is uninstall it and reinstall Facebook. And that might help. OK, so um, lots of people were asking about this quilt. OK, this half hexy braid quilt, which kind of looks like a stained glass. And it's a 12 and a half inch block that you make lots of and put together. So I thought we'd do that today. OK, I thought we'd do this today because um, quite a lot of a lot of you have asked about it. Um, it's originally a layer cake pattern, so works brilliantly if you've got a layer cake. OK, so you can absolutely. Um, I'm going back to using my ever trusty that we've used lots and lots over these um, one o'clocks. The half hexy ruler from Crafty UK. 
if you are going to order one from him you need to say it's the 10 inch half i'm just reading it off the back 10 inch half hexagon christmas tree table runner ruler okay that's the one that you want for all these different projects we've been doing with half hexes and if you want to learn um how to do um half hexy manx quilting which I'm so, so chuffed with. I've been playing around with my Manx quilting and been doing some different designs with it. And I've been doing a hexa hexagonal one, which um, I'm going to be um, going through very briefly on the craft shows page. The one, the one that's on Saturday, um, you have to pay six pound for a ticket. Um, but um, I'm going to do like the traditional Manx, but I'm going to be going, showing you the, the half hexy, uh, the hexagon Manx quilted as well. And I've used this ruler for that. So um yeah really really excited about that really excited because it's worked brilliantly um you right drew you just keeping an eye is it how's it working is it lagging or not no, lagging it's not buffered at all it's about eight second uh, behind right be okay. okay so we're on um the phone and the gimbal you know drew's toy as usual because we didn't want any more interruptions like last time but drew's also that side of the table streaming um using the new equipment to see if we can get it to work so fingers crossed please people um right okay so groups you're going to need to come up so i um i'm going to show you the whole block but i just thought i'd show you and i'm using some scraps of fabric okay because i'm not going to make a whole quilt i'm just going to make one block but i just thought i'm not going to cut this either but i just show you this is a layer cake a 10 inch square and you can absolutely do this with a layer cake if you've got layer cakes hanging around you can do this with a layer cake. Now you wouldn't, if you're cutting them out of a layer cake, you wouldn't cut it on the fold because you want them to be half hexes, not full hexes. So you'd put the long edge along the edge of the layer cake and you would cut round it and you'd get two at a time out of each layer of a cake piece, okay? So I, I really like this pattern and it looks so different depending on what colours you do it in, all right? However, uh, you will need, for each block, you're gonna need six, half hexes okay and you're going to need some one and a half inch strips of a black or a very dark charcoal or you might decide you want it in like a cobalt blue or something um i've gone with black because it gives that sort of stained glass effect so i thought i'd show you how to cut them out and then we're going to put it all together um anybody there just before i uh start the cutting out and uh, stuff jen says hi claire says hi hi jen hi claire jackie said so she had a problem last night with her ipad in portrait but oh, I don't, right. oh, I don't, I don't know remember enough. that. Don't know about that, I'm afraid. Um, so I'm using up some scraps and I'm just going to cut two at a time. I've just got my half hexy template on there like that. OK, and we're just going to cut round. We're just going to cut round on the uh, on the edge using a rotary cutter. If you've got a turning rotary cutter mat, it's particularly uh, useful at this one. You'll see as well on this ruler that it's got like a little straight piece here. This is, for, that's for your quarter inch seam allowance, okay? So you do want to cut those little, those little straight pieces. So, sorry, excuse yeah, she me. She said writing with the comments. Pardon? Ja uh, Jackie, she said about writing about the comments. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, just um, from what I could quickly Google, um, and I, you know, it's, you've got to like, like the page and reinstalling it as well apparently helps reinstalling it and and putting it back onto your, your your phone or your laptop or whatever okay so i've just cut two two half x's like this okay so for each block you'd need six so i've just got some scraps here and i've chosen six fabrics okay now i've gone really bright again but actually it does look really really beautiful i've seen it done in much more softer gentler colors with a very pale dove gray sash in um and it was all like low volume scrummy absolutely scrummy sandra so. says she just remembered why she uh, why she bought the material in the friday so that's it yeah you you asked about the spray times didn't you because you wanted to do this so if you're going to make the quilt it's really and like i said we've used this ruler so much over the the lockdown um one pms definitely worth grabbing one from from um, Andy at Craft UK. So I'll just give these a quick press. And then what we want to do is you want to grab your get a piece of sashing colour, whatever you choose to use. I'm using black again. And they need to be one and a half inch strips. All right. And we're going to just stitch these on and we're going to basically chain piece them. All right. 
So I don't know if you can just come on to here a minute, Drew. I'm going to lie this one down. In fact, oh, let me choose one that's right facing down. So there's my, the right side, wrong side. So wrong sides together. Line that up like that. And we're going to stitch down quarter of an inch. OK, and you can keep stitching. OK, so we'll add the next one. You want to leave a good two to three inch gap between these because of how we're going to have to cut them in a moment. OK, so then I put my next one on like that and I'm leaving a good gap okay and I carry on stitching quarter of an inch so we're going to take those over to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch these on okay so this um was originally a hold on let me get all my knots out of the way a second this um I think this is a Missouri Star Quilt Company pattern actually I think pretty sure Jenny Doan's got a, a, a tutorial on her YouTube for this as well Sorry, I'm just getting rid of all these pins. I've got pins and needles all over the place. There we go. Um, so there is a, a her tutorial as well about about this. I don't know if it's her original pattern, but um, it's uh, there's definitely one on there. That's where I found it and then kind of adapted it. Um, didn't really adapt it. Do you know what I mean? Played around with it. That's the word. So quarter of an inch all the way down. So while I'm doing that, ladies, talk to me. How's it doing? How's everybody good? How's everybody doing? Taryn said her rule is due to arrive today from Monday. Brilliant, brilliant. They're really, I have to say, really, really useful rulers. Really useful rulers. Um, I do use it. It's I've got a few of his different templates, and it's the one that I, I tend to use the most. Um, that and uh, he did us some two and a half by seventeen inch rulers for what? Yeah, white gecko that are branded for us. I use that one a lot as well. So I'm just going to go all the way down and get as many half hexes on as I can. So it's nice and quick, really quick this morning. Anybody else there? Let me chat while I'm doing this. Uh, Wendy asked what size is the hexagon, please. So it's a 10 inch, it's a 10 inch ruler um, that I'm using. So it's called, it's called a 10 inch half hexy ruler. Um, but you could draw yourself a 10 inch hexagon um, and you can, you know, if you're going to write, if you don't have to buy the ruler, you could do it and do it out of template plastic and you could draw around it then and cut it out. OK. But this method would actually work with any half hexagon size. You could make little tiny blocks. In fact, depending on the time, we might have to play around with that. Um, you could do smaller ones as well. Um, it was just the fact that if you're using a layer cake, they're 10 inch squares, so you go with a, a 10 inch ruler, okay? But you could absolutely do, um, oh, that might be really cute actually, I've had an idea, <laughs> might be really cute. Okay, we just grab my other strip of black fabric, we'll do the last two. Any other questions there, Drew? Uh, Suzanne says hi. Uh, Hi, Susie. Uh, Carolyn said she ordered the five circle template on Monday and it came today. She's well impressed. Ah, oh, brilliant. That's fab. Yeah, he's um, they're lovely, Crafty UK. Really, really lovely. And, you know, um, British based company, you know, and uh, they do some really good templates. And they're just nice people. And it's nice to uh, support, you know, small businesses, isn't it, nowadays? all the way down and with obviously they mainly work on shows and uh, you know they sell mainly through shows they do like 30 35 shows a year but it's um obviously there's been no shows this year have there so uh so it's nice to support support other people okay what you're going to do now is you're going to iron this out and you're going to iron it towards the black okay let's get my coffee out of the way it's almost done anyway anybody else there what were you all up to I liked, um, Sean posted a uh, question today in the, uh, in the Gigglers group about how much meterage or yardage do you think you've got in your stash? I asked my husband that question and he just went, I dread to think. He said, I reckon you could build a fabric bridge to, uh, to the top of Scotland and back. I reckon I could as well. <laughs> I reckon I could. So we're just ironing out towards the black. So what to, uh. How how much uh, how much fabric do you reckon is in your stashes? Is it are you good? 
are you the type of person that thinks no no i'm only going to buy for that project uh or do you uh do you buy because you love it <laughs> I'm definitely a buy because I love it. I've got better. I used to just buy like, oh, love that, love that, love that. But I have got better. I think having the shop is, has curbed me a little bit of that. <laughs> so I can't actually remember the last time I bought fabric for me. Um, I think it was probably one of the shows last year, maybe. You know, maybe festival last year, I think was the last time I bought fabric for me. So There we go. So... You've got kind of but like bunting now <laughs> okay but what we're going to do is we're going to trim all this up so you want to just pop your ruler down the edge here of that hexi like that line it all up and you're going to cut this off so it can kind of continues that angle okay and we're going to go work our way along and do that on each of them so i'm going to turn this one and cut this off here okay so I'm going to line that up with the edge of the hexi take it off so you've got that little sashed half hexi like that and I'm just going to work my way down and do all six for you it's a really quick block this one really really quick once you get into it um, probably takes you longer to do all the cutting than it would do the um, sew it <coughs> excuse me sorry you'll have to excuse me as well I'm um, I'm off all my medication at the moment because I've got a um, hospital appointment on Monday and I've got a lot of um, patch testing and stuff they're having to do. So they have to they have to do it with me free of medication, which means that everything is setting me off. Every smell, every everything is making me sneeze. And uh, it's uh, driving me a little bit insane. Ooh, uh, my hair's also falling out as well. <laughs> uh, I'm molting, a bit like the dog. So yeah, sorry, I'm extra, extra snuffly and sniffy today. So please, uh, please excuse all the sniffing. <laughs> Here we go, nearly there. I'm going to go through this last couple and down like that. Ooh, there we go. Nearly there. And turn that one so I can do that safely. And you, like I said, you need six of these per block that you're going to do. Okay. Um, obviously if you're using a layer cake you get what you get 42 so you get seven you, but you get two out of each layer cake so how many would you get you get uh 42 what bone's gone 84 oh why couldn't i add that up then 84 half hexes which would make a lot of blocks i'm not even going to do the maths on that at the moment because my brain is completely addled so let me just get rid of all these bits out of the way suzanne said do they need a tall cover for the millennium dome i have enough fabric i think <laughs> that would be cool yeah you know just completely cover uh, uh or the armadillo i reckon i could do that so right i'm going to try and do this to you so excuse me ladies i do need to just quickly blow my nose because i am very very snuffly <laughs> Oh, there we go. So the beginning bit of this is the hardest, okay? Um, and it's not hard, it's just... It's, 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 true, what are you doing? Turn your notifications off. <laughs> okay, so you would decide what order you're going to do, and it's basically a braid that we're making. The f they're all the same apart from the very first bit, and the very first bit, you're going to put a side piece to a bottom piece. So you're going to do that. Okay, and that's facing you guys like that. So you're going to stitch a side to the bottom like that. We'd stitch that down. And then after that, they literally go in along the top like this. Okay, you can see that sort of braid starting to appear. So the very first one is the only one that's different and it can throw you. It doesn't matter which way you start, whether you go side to bottom like that or whether you go side to bottom like that, really doesn't matter, all right? So I'm gonna stitch this one to this one. So I'm gonna flip this one right sides together, line up that side piece along there like that, and I'm gonna stitch down quarter of an inch along there. So I'm just gonna grab a pin to keep that in place a second. We're gonna stitch along this edge. It's the only bit that 
might throw you okay the rest of this is really really easy but this is the only bit that might throw you is that that initial starting bit so while i'm stitching talk to me what's going on anybody there uh sandra said it would make 16 blocks there you go thanks <laughs> 16. I can't do the maths today. I'm a little bit fuzzy headed because of a uh, lack of um, lack of medication and stuff. There we go. So I've just stitched down quarter of an inch. Okay. Uh, Jan said, if you run out before the top of Scotland, I'll meet you halfway. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. <laughs> I reckon we could between us. I definitely reckon we could. I reckon between just the Gigglers group, we could. Uh, hi, says um. <laughs> Sarah, for some reason, is got her nose pressed up against the uh, front room window. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> there we go. So that one is in place like this. <laughs> she scared the life out of me then, Andrew. I'm thinking, what's Drew looking at? I look like that. And she's like that up against my front room window. So you've got that one there like that. Okay. Can you see this one? Just because of how it works, this one is very slightly too big. Just trim that off. Okay. Just trim that one off. You can offset it a little bit, but to be honest we're going to be squaring it all up anyway so you're going to have excess just trim that little bit off okay it's a tiny widgy bit next one is going to go on like that and can you see now that that fits in right along here so that was the side to the bottom and then this one's going along here so we're going to go there to there like that okay and again i'm going to pin that one in and i'm going to whip down that one on the quarter of an inch so uh yeah i i reckon i reckon between the whole of the like our followers we could probably we could probably cover the you know at least the whole of europe if we if we laid it all out and smoothed it all out i reckon we could at least cover the whole of europe with fabric there you go I know I get shocked sometimes when I think, oh, where did that come? Oh my God, I bought that like four or five years ago. Where did that come from? And you completely forget you've got stuff. Here we go. So that's that one in. And then I'm just going to see. So it's starting to build up the braid. So now my next one is going along here. Okay. So I'm going to pop that one in up there. So again, right sides together. And you just keep building that braid. You just keep putting them on the top. So you end up with a braid. Okay. So I'm going to pop that one there, pin it in like that, and across we go, like that. Stayed up again watching far too much Walking Dead last night. One eye on the US election on my phone, on our phones, watching, uh, we've done season three now, <laughs> we've done one, two and three in like... I know, 10 days. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's really good. It's quite gory. And it's a bit scary in places, but it is really good. <laughs> so, there we go. So, there's that one there. And then, okay, can you see that braid starting to appear now? We're going to put another one up along this edge now. And you're just each time looking for the edge that that fits into. So, that one's going to come along here. I'm going to put that one on and one more and then I can show you how to square it up. So it's a you can see how quickly it builds. Okay, see how quickly it, it builds. There we go. So we're going to go down this one. There we go. I wonder if I, I'm going to have a play around to the charm pack and see, uh, see what it would look like with the charm pack. Because I need a new charm pack pattern to go onto a chander later in the year so I might have to play around with one there we go so there's that one and then the last one is going to go up here along this edge here so but these were just all like little scrappy bits that we've pulled out of the the drawers and stuff at work earlier um you know you could as long as you can get that size out of it you know you could play around and use all your scraps up and you, you know I love a scrappy project okay so I'm going to stitch down here on the last one Okay. Anybody else there? Anybody else having a chat? Uh, Carol says hi. Carol. Hi, Carol. Oh, make sure that edge is nice and down. Anybody else there? 
Sandra's just asked, it looks like such a simple design, but how, whoever would thought to do it? Ah, uh, it's always the way, isn't it? There's, um, there's so many patterns that I look at and I think, oh, that's really, that looks really common, like the folded star cushion. The folded star cushion, if you looked at that and thought, oh my goodness, how on earth would, would that work? Who on earth first thought about, you know, making all those little pieces and folding them like that? It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So, there we go. Okay, so you end up with that. You could keep going and going and going, and you could do, rather than blocks, you could do long braids just with sashing in between. You know, you could just keep going and make lots of different braids if you wanted to. But this one was done with blocks. Is that Tom banging around up there? He's supposed to be school working. I don't know what he's doing. Unless he's doing PE. Uh, maybe, he's, maybe he's got an online PE. <laughs> there we go. So you end up with something that looks like that. We're then going to square it down to 12 and a half inches. All right. So if it was me... You would, I'm going to decide which bits I like the most, okay? Now, you could actually square this bigger if you wanted to. You could actually get it to, what's that? You'd probably get 13 and a half out of it, actually. Do you know what? Because I'm going to make this into a cushion, just because it's a simple block. I'm going to, the original pattern was 12 and a half, but I'm actually going to square this to 13 and a half, because I can easily get 13 and a half out of this. Easily. So... 13 and a half, 13 half, <coughs> comes to here, comes to here. I can just get that, uh, oh no, I can't. Can you see here? I don't know if you can see this bit here. I need to make sure that that bit's covered. So if I come down to there, can I still get, oh, I can't get quite, I can get 13. What I'm doing is I'm looking through the ruler to see what I can get out, okay? You've got to make sure that everything is covered. So I can just get, 13 in there so I'm going to cut 13 this time because it'll make a slightly bigger cushion cover but if you were doing with a 12 and a half inch block which is actually what what it was designed for originally you would just move this around until you decide which bit you want to play around with okay but I might as well not waste it and get it to be 13 by 13 on this this particular one okay so these bits here i'll show you what we did with in a moment okay so i'm going to turn that like that and now cut another 13 by 13 this way just because i can but like i said it's probably easy if you're going to do a quilt rather than a cushion front you can see i can just just get the 13 in not on that bit there if you're going to do a quilt i would do 12 by 12. Ooh. 12 and a half by 12 and a half, sorry, not 12 by 12. There we go. Okay, so, pop that down there, right the way. That's my quilt block done. It's quick, quick and easy as that, all right? You would make as many as you want. So, and then you could put, when you put them together, so Drew, if you come up to here a second, when you put them together, you just turn them, okay? So I've got one going that way, and you can see here, I've got that one, go in that way okay and then that one go in that way and you just turn them okay you just turn them around to decide which way you want them to go you don't have to you could have them all go in the same way that's kind of your design choice then all these bits because I didn't want to waste all these bits here that's what we did down here with this this particular quilt once we'd cut all the blocks we had all these pieces left over so I literally just stitched black anything that was black to a color side like that and made like a mile a minute just made some different bits and then we cut rectangles and all out of it to kind of give you that that sort of piece down there okay you could do that if you wanted to as a border all the way around you don't have to but it just kind of I didn't want to waste all these bits so we literally just stitched them together and then decided, right, okay, I'm going to do like a five in. I think these are these five inches. I haven't got my ruler now. I've dabbed it down. Don't know where it's gone. Well, I've... This one. No, no. Yeah, they are. They're five inches wide. And I just, that's a five inch square. Did some rectangular, some square. You know, just used up all these pieces 
to make sort of like a, a broken glass type border for it. Um, so that's kind of it. That's that's really all there is to it. It really is incredibly simple block, but really, really effective. Doesn't have to be a quilt. Like you said, I'm going to put a, a black board around this and then a big colourful board around it and just make it into a cushion front, you know, cushion front for somebody. I don't know. Um, probably Sarah. It's the, the right colour is colouring for Sarah, isn't it? <laughs> um, so, um, let's do a challenge post. Let's do a challenge post ready for tomorrow. Show me your brights, the brightest thing you've made. Okay, I will. Um, I'll put a little challenge post up in a minute on on our face on the Facebook page, and we'll do a little challenge post, and I'll, I'll find something pretty for tomorrow to give uh, give away as a prize. Okay, um, and we'll just do a quick twenty four hour one. So I'll put a challenge post up. Show me your brights. What is the brightest thing, the most colourful thing you've ever made? Which, you know, if you're normally a, a low volume, a gentle colour tone one, it's going to be, might be a bit difficult. You might have to have a little root around and a rummage, okay? But yeah, show me your brights. Brights and beautifuls, because it's a beautiful bright day out there. So let's do that. And we've just done a bit of, bit of rainbow. So um, I'll do a quick challenge post on that and we'll draw that tomorrow, okay? Um, anything else? Any other questions or anything there? Anybody uh, there? Susan says, I like the pattern. Jenny says, love the quilt. So effective. Yeah, it really is. And like I was saying, it also looks really beautiful done in um, like low volumes. So if you've got sort of really gentle colours and stuff or low volume colours, um, I've seen it done in that as well. And it's really effective. I, it basically works with any layer cake. So if you've got a sneaky layer cake sat there in your stash, you know, get it out. Get it out and have a little bit of a play. It's, uh, it's a nice one. Claire just said with a... Uh, sorry, when will the Zoom link for tomorrow's class be as sent? As soon as I come off, um, I will be sending it over, lovely. I meant to do it late last night and I completely forgot. So I will do It's on my list to do. I literally ran over from the shop and I've got a big list to do this afternoon. It's first on the list. It'll be with you in the next half an hour, 40 minutes. Anything else there? No. No? No, no. Cool. Right, I'm back tomorrow and we're going to be making um, reading pillows. OK, um, so I'll show you how to do that. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's all I've got to tell you today, which is good because I've got lots to do. Lots and lots to do. Um, so, yeah, um, I've got to finish sorting out my hexy Manx work. Um, so excited about it. <laughs> I'm such a child. I'm such a such a fabric nerd. I really am. Uh, so I will see you tomorrow, guys. Um, have a lovely, lovely day. Maybe go out for a bit of a walk if it's like this by you. Get some fresh air. Get some vitamin D in you while uh, while the sun's out. Um, I'm going to ask Drew to uh, do the windows in a minute. Well, all the boys are going to help me with the housework in a minute. So um, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.